Welcome back into National Report. I'm Rob Finnerty and for Sean Kreisman. The House GOP revolt over wearing masks hit a fever pitch yesterday as Republicans defied the newly reinstituted mask mandate led by House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, who herself was caught, get this, maskless just yesterday. Joining us now for more on the situation in the House of Representatives in the U.S. Capitol building is Pennsylvania Congressman Dan Muser. Congressman, nice to have you back on. Great to be with you. Thank you. Uh, just curious, your reaction to the new House floor mask mandate and uh, how Nancy Pelosi is ruling the House of Representatives right now. It's awful. It's a disaster. It's ruling by fear. You know what? That doesn't work in America. As a matter of fact, it has the opposite effects. None of the data supports these actions. The CDC is even using a study and information we understand and research that came from India based upon a vaccine that's not even allowed in the United States. It's crazy. Most members of the House are vaccinated, well over 85 percent. It could be 90 percent. The Senate did not pass this. We all walked over to the Senate yesterday because it was such a healthy environment, right? We took our masks off. This is ridiculous. It's, a, it's an outrageous um, sign of uh, Nancy uh, Pelosi's desire to show who's in control in, in a highly irrational way. And I will tell you this, the worst part is it is driving fear in our citizens, in my constituents, in my interns. I had interns here yesterday for, for National Intern Day. They, they were somewhat fearful that they could be arrested Right. if they forgot to put on a mask right. on House grounds. She says Capitol Police will arrest or at the very least remove uh, not the members, but interns, family members, visitors that come to the Capitol. Um, it, it's very clear that, that the politicization of coronavirus is just going to continue until this thing's eradicated from the face of the planet. When that will happen, nobody knows. Um, Joe Biden was in his home state, Scranton, Pennsylvania. Uh, that's where he's from. He was in Pennsylvania yesterday. He got a, a fairly lukewarm reception there. Um, the president won the county that he was in handedly. Uh, why do you think, though, the round of applause was, was so dull and muted at that, that Mack truck factory? Well, I actually visited that Mack truck factory, and uh, probably in the past administration, they, they were booming. Not so much now, because they, they have, don't have access to, uh, to, to workforce. It's, it's the law of cause and effect. The Biden policies are causing a lot of trouble on our streets. Crime is up, right? even in more rural areas, such as my district. Um, unemployment is a big problem in Pennsylvania because unemployment insurance. We have a massive disorder. At, at the border, thanks to the Biden policies, so so it's a it's a it's a cause and effect. Inflation, the prices at Mac are going up. The threat of taxes. The president went up there in Pennsylvania to talk about job creation and making jobs in America. Every one of his, his actions are sending jobs overseas. So you know it's um, what he says and what the end effect is are really two different things. And the fortunate thing is. Bad for America, so we need a change, but the American people are on to them. Congressman, it, in Pennsylvania. It, it took over 10 years for the Surgeon General, and we're going to have the former Surgeon General on the show in just a little bit here on National Report, but it took almost a decade for us to get a warning on cigarettes that basically say cigarettes are bad for you. It took a long time. The CDC has had major course corrections affecting, you could say billions of people, all the people in America, but people around the world follow what the CDC says. It's one of the most respected institutions, or at least it was. In May, they said, take the masks off if you're fully vaxxed. A couple of days ago, you got to put the masks back on. Um, how unprecedented is what's happening right now? Well, it's back and forth. It, it, there's a big reason, good reason why there's a lot of lack of trust that exists. Right. And the politicization of, of, of the CDC and the FDA and the CDC are, are on the same page either. Um, you know, the, the FDA is stating how the vaccinations do work. Those who are vaccinated don't need to wear these masks as are now being mandated. Right. And, and, and back to that. Right? I mean, this sort of approach is not going to encourage people to get vaccinated. And there's something else is a problem here. We're in the middle of the summer. There are factory workers. Granted, they have good working conditions, but they don't like wearing masks in, in, in the heat of the day. So some yeah. people now may take that unemployment in, in shirts. It's a, a, a very, very negative cause and effect taking place here, and it's due to it's due to liberalism, authoritarian liberalism, which I think could could define uh, the, the Biden administration and the leadership in the House of Representatives. Congressman, thank you so much. Again, you brought up a great point right off the bat. We still have, have no data 
uh, except for that Indian study with a vaccine that's not even legal here in the U.S. We've got no data that supports why the CDC and the White House did what they did. Uh, Congressman Dan Muser, thanks so much for being with us. Have a great weekend. We appreciate it. You too. Thanks very much.